Okay, so I ran into a little problem while starting to reassemble things on our Slant 6 duster. And that's, uh, this is an air-conditioned car and heater valve, despite corrosion you see, actually still works. And there's no reason for a change from this original. Now it's over here, two little factory holes. But the problem is, well, they're factory holes. So they're actually older than I am. Yes, that is possible. So that first one you can see kind of fits, and this one, well, yeah, it's just stripped out. So I'm going to switch over to using a quarter 20 thread. And to do this, I'm actually going to use a nut cert, which you'll see shortly. Let me drill these out. Uh, size Q drill bit in this particular case. Always make sure what's behind what you're drilling. I already know there's nothing here. There's not even a tire. It's off the car. Okay. Two clean holes. Well, it said Q. Well, directions doesn't always work, I guess. Problem is, I want to do some rust preventative before I set these. <clears throat> so yeah, rust proofing is as easy as uh, leftover paint from the car. Simply coat a little bit. Some of you live in an area, maybe this isn't a big deal. The reality is, a car like this, it's not a big deal here either. It's not going to be out in bad weather that much anyway. But, I want to do it. And yeah, I'm going to set these before the paint's totally dry. Why? So I'm not chipping it off. Ooh, need to grow stronger. Okay, so that takes, squishes the nut down. Okay, and then the finished product ends up being nice and clean. So these are available from a variety of different manufacturers. At Nuts or it's PEM nuts, uh, it just depends on your vendor what particular brand they're selling. But these are a very nice tool to have on hand for putting threads in a thin material. And one that you know, they don't line up nicely. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so, really, 